I got here a 2016 Ford Transit. Um, it was here for, I don't know, they told me it had actuator codes, like with timing issues. But I scanned it and I got a lot more codes. Uh, let me just start it because all right also the battery light did come on when I drove it around the block but it has a bunch of circuit codes so circuit codes are easy to diagnose than the performance codes in these because you can't just pull the actuators out it's under the valve cover all right we got all four camshafts because actuators control circuit open bank one and bank two then we got all heater circuits and an EVAP approach control. We got a, also we got a battery light on. And in the cluster we have nothing. Let me just enter it to make sure we still have nothing because I don't know if this data is new or not. Read full codes. Um, continuous. All right, no DTCs. Let's do a key on engine off test quickly. Alright, the things are moving, all the needles, making some cool beeps. Alright, we still got no codes. Okay, so it's not going to be a cluster issue. Okay, great. Now, let me go back to the PCM, and I want to look up a diagram on what would cause... Uh, it could easily just be a blown fuse to all, the, to all these things. Let's see if there's one fuse that controls all that, and then we'll start from there. And I don't know, the battery that will have to attack separately. I'm going to turn the car on because it's... Just to keep the battery good and for AC. All right, let's just pull up all that up. We got a 2016 Ford truck transit. What is it? It's a transit. Medium roof. Let's do 350. Okay, I don't know for now. Just going to do 3.7. Okay, so here is this. Now let's see. Let's see how we can connect all these things. All right, so let's go to the O2 sensors. Here they are. Well, here's two of them. This is bank two. And it's the heater circuit. All right, so it's coming from here. And where does it get the power from? I'm assuming that's ground side switched. All right, so that's gonna be the ground. Oh great, that's the power and also goes to these two. Awesome, and here's the other two. Okay, they're all connected. You see, right here is the all the heated oxygen sensors and the variable camshaft timing solenoids all connect, get power from this green wire. Which now I just gotta find out where this green wire gets power from, so it splices over here. Um, is this the wire going up? Or is it somewhere else? Hold on. All right, from fuse 36 to 20 amp battery junction box left side of engine compartment. All right, before anything, we're going to check that because I'm assuming that is the same wire that comes down and feeds all these. No, wait, maybe there's another one because hold on, let me just see. No, that's the wire. Okay, so we're going to check this fuse right here, see if it's blown, and if it's blown, then we're going to have to find where it's shorted. All right, so fuse 36, 20 amp fuse. Let's go look for it. Right, I'm going to shut the car. I'm going to actually turn, where, where is this? This is how, okay, I'm going to turn the key on.
right, here's the battery junction box. And we need fuse 36. All right, so it's these. One, one, two, three, four. It's this guy right here. Right, it doesn't look blown from here, but let me go get a test light to make sure. All right, I got a test light. I went back to the battery ground. Right over here. Okay, let's make sure I have a good ground. If I touch a power, it lights up. Okay, so now I think this is fused. Let me just look at the diagram one more time. We need fuse 36, it's a 20 amp. So, looking at this guy over here. Well, we have it. One, two, three, four. All right, so this must be fuse 36 right here. So we got one, one, two, three, four in, one, two, three. The fuse is in the wrong spot. It's missing the fuse. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is weird. All right, I'm gonna put a fuse in there. Okay, let me go get a fuse. Okay, before I put the fuse in, I want to just make sure, I want to clear the codes and see, make sure they come back right away and then put the fuse in and see if we can clear them because uh, maybe I'm missing something. All right, so let's shut this door. So right, I'm going to click clear DTCs. Okay, so it claims it cleared them. All right, now let's shut the car off. Let's turn it back on. Let's enter. Yeah, I'm just starting the car. All right, the engine light's off right now. Let's read full codes. Key on engine running self test. Okay. I think I have to put the emergency brake on. All right, doing its thing, it's raising the RPM. All right, RPM's coming down. All right, here we go. All the codes came back. EVAP, general field terminal circle line. Oh, great, that's why the, the battery light must have came on also. You see that? Okay, good. Bunch of codes. So now, we're going to put that fuse back in. Keep the key on for this so I can see if there's power. Yeah, all right, let me get the fuse. Fuse 36. All right, put it in. Let's make sure there's power on both sides. Okay, great. Now, let's shut the car off, do another on demand self test. All right, let me clear all the codes. Whoops. Clear fault memory. Okay, let's refill codes, and now let's do a. I'm gonna start the car again so we can do the exact same way. Key on, engine running, on the mat self test. Okay, run your brakes on. Let's go. Beeping happening, RPM is being raised. I don't understand what happens. Like, that fuse can't fall out, it's not possible. Now, it could be someone pulled it out and then put it back in the one next to it. I don't know, maybe someone was angry with them and pulled the fuse. What do I know? All right, so we still got codes for the generator field terminal circuit low, generator A control circuit range performance, and transmission control switch circuit not in self-test range, because this is probably nothing. That's just not in self-test. Oh, this is also demand out in self-test range. Okay, brake switch out of self test range must be because the brake switch is on. Guys, right, so all these codes I'm not worried about. Generator air control circuit range performance and generator field F terminal circuit low. So this is probably why the battery light's coming on. All right, let me take off this brake. Let me clear this code. 
All right, but at least we fixed the main problem. Okay, now let's do a key on engine off self test and see what comes back. Read four codes. Key on engine off self test. Because now I think it will have less um, issues with the AC range. And it could be not. I think these codes could come on every time. I'm going to do this first and then we'll see. I'm going to speak to the shop owner because he'll probably diagnose the. All, right, all we got was the AC demand not in south this range okay but the AC works so I'm not gonna worry about that and um, the generator circuit could be an issue because that's where the battery lights coming on but I checked it while the battery light was on and I was definitely charging so I'm not nervous about it now but, all right right now there's no lights on besides the TPMS and the seatbelt light um, I'm going to tell the shop owner that the battery light did come on, see if they want me to diagnose it. But if not, we're done. I'm missing fuse. Again. I think, I, yeah, I just had one with the Corolla with a missing fuse. Alright. Thanks for watching.